Lady Blackheart, the order has been given. However, people are falling into confusion. It's fine. Stop the formalities. I'm retiring as goddess today. Politicians resign when they screw up, right? Avenir, the Tech Expo, I've caused so much trouble for everyone. That doesn't mean you have to take full responsibility. It was my mistake to interfere with the human world. I should have stayed with Celestia. Integrate the Sanctuary and Parliament. There will be minor conflicts at first, but eventually they'll learn to get along. Still... Enough of your interjections. These are the last commands from Lastation CPU. Just accept it. <sighs> I asked everyone to stay away for a while. your favorite party along with this tea. What are you all doing here? And another member on top of it? Fine, whatever, you may leave. Understood. I got a question. Whose love child do you think Isti is? Ready, go. What? Love child? with the random crap. Sorry, she's definitely nobody's love child. Anyway, my lady, we came here to ask for a favor today. Isti will explain the details. Huh, okay. That explains everything about the monsters in Avenir. You're saying it was done by our former goddess, R4? Uh-huh. Even though she was this world's goddess, she did a class change and became a villain. How can you accept that as a goddess? I want to ask you to come with us and beat her up. Sorry. I was just going back to Celestia. I swore to myself I was done with the human world. Perfect, then. R4 is in Celestia right now. Please, we beg you. R4 will destroy the world. We need your power. This story's unbelievable. All these monsters are from our former goddess, and that girl's at home? I met the evangelist you claim was R4. She didn't look like someone who'd destroy the world to me. But, but... It's not like I care. Yeah, well, but, um, monsters exist, you know? Who else can summon them besides a goddess? Meh, maybe someone's breeding them in a monster ranch or something. Yeah, whatever. Monster rancher isn't a job. That's so silly. Ugh, just shut up! First off, Neptune, you haven't got your memory back, have you? You're such a nosy little outsider. Don't tell me what to do. Are you done? I'm not helping. I'm not joining you. You got that? Now get out of here.
Lady Whiteheart, some travelers are requesting an audience. What would you like to do? I've heard that before. Just bring them in. Yo, Lady Whiteheart, you seem bored and pissy as usual. I am now. Neptune, the other two, and you kidnapped a fourth? You're quick, my hungry little piggy. We're here today to show Isti off to you. Oh, please. We only met a few weeks ago. I'm glad she seems to be on the same idiotic wavelength as you. The goddesses are practically a part of me. Tuning into my wavelength is only natural. Anyway, I have some important things to discuss with you today. Will you listen? Fine, make it snappy. Uh-huh. So R4 is out to destroy the world with monsters. You believe this, Neptune? Well, naturally. We fought her a bunch of times now. You met her too. Remember Conversacion? She was one of R4's creepy alter egos. Right. gonna bust up the world. We don't know why yet, but your land's in danger, too. One, what is she going to do after destroying the human world? So pointless. Two, the frequent monster attacks and manipulating the guild won't affect the world at large much. But it involved all of us. Please help. Are you gonna ignore this as a goddess? Three, why would I help you? who preaches about being a goddess when she doesn't even remember her past. Sorry, but can you leave? I'm not helping you. Greenheart isn't here? I'm sorry. She's been out fighting monsters every single day lately. The feminine and gentle Lady Greenheart is fighting monsters? What's going on? I'm not sure. She's been acting different, and we're all a little worried about her. I could tell you which dungeon she headed towards if you wish to go and bring her back. Sure.
Lady Green. Heart? Oh no! She overheated and fell! We must help her! Oh, Okumba, Nup Nup, and Iffy. Shh! Don't talk. You must cool down. Let me treat you with some ice packs. Oh, please don't move! Thank you, but I'm okay. I'm a goddess. This is nothing. Are you here to fight monsters, too? You should go to another dungeon. I can handle this place alone. No! I can't let you fight any more with those wounds. You need to go back and rest up for a bit. These monsters aren't going to go anywhere. Carry her back. Iffy, get her legs. Huh? Oh, sure. You've gotten a lot more confident since I first met you. slacked off enough. I need to push my limits. I've awakened to my true mission. I want to protect this land as its goddess. But you need to take care of yourself to do that. Plus, the monsters aren't your fault. Kampa, allow me to explain. Is this our first time meeting? I am Istwar, the one who presides over this world. Oh, I know you. I heard a voice in my head once who said the same name. So the Isti that Nepnep was talking about was you. I thought I was just hearing things out of boredom. My voice could only reach goddesses at the time. I do not blame your disbelief. Now then, let us talk about the former goddess Arthur. You were involved in this too. I see. The cause of our war. The monsters. The conflict between the aristocrats and the Basilicon. All instigated by R4. She still possesses the powers of a goddess. Her power is absolute. Different from the abilities you currently have. She's a goddess, huh? Why would she want to destroy the world? That, I have no information on. But we cannot let her continue. Please, lend us your power. I'm sorry, but caring for my land is my first priority. I understand it may sound foolish, but... How are you not all mad and yelling and stuff? I am. How can she do this even though she used to be a goddess? She doesn't deserve that title. Neptune, you still don't remember your past, do you? Please don't act like you know what it means to be a goddess. I realized this by interacting with the people here. The goddesses are the foundations of this planet. If the former goddess is doing this because she was tired of the responsibility, I sympathize somewhat. You can't talk her down when you're not even aware of yourself or your responsibilities as a goddess. Please leave. I'd like to focus on myself and Leanbox.
Thank you.